Hi, I'm Dr. Mahesh Nair, cosmetic plastic surgeon, director and founder of Nipantak Aesthetics. And today, I would like to touch upon the enigmatic topic of mommy makeover. As we all know, motherhood brings about a lot of undesirable changes in a woman's body, right from sagging tummy, excess fat deposits, sagging arms, you know, uh, maybe chubby thighs, sagging breasts, so on and so forth. These changes affect a woman psychologically and can demoralize her. Moreover, many of them are also subjected to body shaming. They are unable to wear their pre-pregnancy dresses as well. This is where a makeover can bring in a breath of fresh air. And this makeover is what we commonly refer to as a mommy makeover. So what does a mommy makeover basically include? It includes a liposuction, a tummy tuck and a breast surgery. These form the main pillars of the makeover in an attempt to bring back the pre-pregnancy form of the woman. In the liposuction, we prefer to do a 360 degree liposuction back and forth so that the whole torso is contoured. Following this, a tummy tuck is done wherein the excess skin, fat and stretch marks are basically taken care of. Again in a 360 degree format. Coming to the breast surgeries. Breast surgeries are mainly of two types, one is a lift and the second is a reduction. A lift is needed generally when the breasts deflate and sag such that uh, you know you may need a little bit of volumization maybe with an implant or fat grafting along with a lift and reduction may be needed in cases where the breast has enlarged and sagged at the same time. The other supportive procedures uh, conducted usually in a mommy makeover are an arm liposuction or an arm lift, a thigh lipo, a chin lipo and genital rejuvenation. Coming to each one of these in a nutshell, an arm liposuction may be needed if uh, you know there are excess fat deposits in your arm which make it look sagging. A chin liposuction is very rewarding because it gets back the cervicomental angle. Then uh, a thigh liposuction or a thigh lift may be needed to uh, make the thighs a little less uh, chubby. And genital rejuvenation basically involves a labioplasty, a vaginal tightening or even a little bit of fat grafting to, re to rejuvenate the genitalia. Now coming to the actual process of a mommy makeover. Some of these procedures can be daycare surgeries but it all depends upon which all procedures you have clubbed together. Like if you club a liposuction with a tummy tuck, definitely there will be an overnight stay and you can be discharged the next day. Drains are subjective, they may, may or may not be there. And all these procedures are generally performed under general anesthesia for your safety and uh, for a pain-free experience I would say. Most of these procedures have a downtime say of about a week or two at the max and you can get back to your routine at the earliest. Doctor, are women really doing these things? Oh, as a matter of fact, these are some of the most commonest surgeries that we do. Uh, it may not be labeled as a mommy makeover, but an isolated liposuction, tummy tuck and sometimes they combine these surgeries together. Okay. So in effect, it is a mommy makeover, just that it is not given the tag of mommy makeover. No. That's it. So if you want to ask more questions like these, then you can definitely post them in the comment section or follow me on Instagram and uh, I have these weekly Insta live sessions where you, where you can ask me live questions directly and I'll make sure that they are answered to the best of my knowledge. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos which will explain these procedures such as liposuction, tummy tuck etc in more depth and detail. Thank you.